Hello and welcome to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets and building them and other Lego related stuff. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at the Lego City ice cream truck set. This is set number 60253. It has 200 pieces and I paid $16 for this set. Now this set retails for $20 and so I got it for 20% off uh, bringing it down to $16 which is the same price I paid for the penguin slushy van and the holiday camper van which are somewhat similar. I don't know if this is technically a quote unquote great vehicle set. I believe those other ones were. But uh, I was happy to get this for the price that I did, and this one does have more pieces than those other two sets I mentioned here. Uh, I can see there are a lot of stickers in uh, there, but um, either way, it should be good. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to open this up, I'm going to put this together, and then I'm going to share my thoughts on it. So while I build, I will speed the video up, and then I'll slow it back down to review this set. So, until then... Enjoy! Okay, so while we are going over the build for this Lego City ice cream truck set, I wanted to say thank you to everybody who watches and likes and comments and all of that wonderful stuff. I really appreciate it. And then just to remind and encourage people that if you do like this video, please consider clicking that thumbs up and giving it a like. And if you like the other videos on my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the Lego videos I'll be doing here in the future. All the engagement, likes, comments, subscribes, all that stuff really, really helps a small channel like mine reach uh, new audiences and keep growing. Um, so uh, that's sort of one of my goals, and I really, really appreciate all the help. So thank you very much. Also, uh, I had some issues recording this video, so that's why you might not be hearing the usual subtle clicks that are in this portion of the video, uh, but hopefully the rest of the review will be of uh, better quality and without issues. So thank you very much, and now on to my review. Okay, so that is this Lego City ice cream truck. I had a little bit of an issue um, with my audio when I built this and when I reviewed this, so I am re-reviewing it now. I'm going to try to make sure I cover everything. So um, this is a, another really great city set. Um, it reminds me very much of the Penguin Slushy van and of the Holiday Camper van, um, and in, in some ways it is very similar. I think those were considered great vehicles, quote-unquote. I don't know if this is, but let me grab those others so as we can um, compare them. Here is the Penguin Slushy Van. And here is the Holiday Camper Van. So one of the first things I notice is um, the height difference of these. So they're both six wide. Um, the Penguin Slushy Van has a different kind of top piece above the cab there. And same with the Holiday Camper Van. It is just a taller build, generally speaking, even considering the signage there. Um, other than that, a lot of the features, like these railed pieces used for um, the serving window, are very similar. And they seem to serve a, a similar demographic and... Uh, you know, they, even the body of the vehicles, they do, they have some differences, but a lot of similarities as well. And one of the things I pointed out in my initial review is this, uh, this is that I think it'd be really cool to have this and the farmer's market truck and the slushy van and all that stuff as kind of like a food truck uh, haul thing where all the food trucks in the city kind of gather around in a in a park or in some other area to serve the lego city populace um, and this one fits really well in there the colors on this are great uh, and the build was fine uh, we do get some minifigures here so i will show those the first one we get here is riding a skateboard they do have the helmet they are holding an ice cream cone right now no printing on the midsection of the legs, kind of like a sweatshirt here, or a hoodie on the back there, just a normal face printing. They do get a extra hairpiece for this character. 
Um, so that is nice to get that, but if they're on the skateboard, it's probably best to wear the helmet. Um, but good to get those and uh, nice. And then we have, I think, the person who sells the ice cream out of the ice cream truck. So they have a little bow tie. I really like this top. It looks like the shirt is tucked in here with those creases, some nice vertical stripes, the bow tie there back is very similar nothing on the legs really but they might serve ice cream out of this van hair piece is pretty standard pretty common one uh, there's no alternate faces on either of these and um, no alternate hair for this character or whatever we also get a little dog which is nice and there's some additional printing on the head for some coloration there which is very cool and then the rest of the build is this uh this ice cream truck and um, so one of the things I'm going to do while I handle this is I'm going to open this up so I can get out a couple pieces so I can handle it without them kind of flopping all around because this set does have a lot of nice minifigure accessories I don't know the dog's not considered that but the ice cream cone the helmet the skateboard it does have these two kind of translucent looking popsicle pieces which are really nice they kind of go in a freezer section in here but we can kind of take a look at this uh, this ice cream truck all the way around. Uh, and one of the first things I'll, I'll point out are the stickers here. I don't have the sticker sheet anymore because, like I said, I recorded this video already. But I will point those out. So up on the sign, this is a sticker. Um, Mr. Chilled Ice Cream, uh, this banner piece on that tile is a sticker. With a sticker here and a menu sticker here. Only the best. That is a sticker. Moving around to the front, a sticker for the license plate, sticker for the only the best, and same for the Mr. Chill up there. Flipping over to the other side, very similar. We got this one, we got the menu, only the best, the banner, and the same face sticker on the signage. And moving around to the back, we have a license plate and a sticker that says Mind That Child, which there's no... As, I, as far as I can tell, a child minifigure in this set. So I thought that was actually really odd, and I haven't seen that in other ones, and, and maybe it's a reference to something that I don't know. So if you know, please let, let me know in the comments. But um, this was just a weird sticker to me. It, it felt strange, but I assume like if uh, children are excited to get ice cream, perhaps from this truck in, in play or in, in a city or whatever, um, it is important to be careful uh, about them, but like mind that child is just a weird way to say that I feel like. And so I don't know that that sticker struck me as odd. Um, and that's all these stickers. They're easy enough to apply. Would be nice if there was more, more prints. Um, I think this could have been nicely printed there. Um, and the rest of them, it kind of all makes sense. The color matches is, is pretty good on the red. These are white, on white panels there this is on white that's all fine um, so not too bad even the color match on this is is pretty good so that's all right we do have some working doors for the cab here which I know is important to some people we got some some mirrors that can be uh, put there and inside the uh, driving seat driving it sits in the middle it is a six wide so we have the uh, steering wheel there this can pop off relatively easy it's just studded on the windscreen and rests kind of on these overhang elements and we can see on the dash we do have a printed one by two cheese wedge type piece or slope piece uh, there so it's nice to get that printed and uh, let's see that comes back on relatively easy if I can put it on oh I had there we go maybe okay and then uh, over on the other side like the penguin slushy van we do have kind of a serving window that is between these modified plates with a a um, kind of a what I call like a um, what would that be a rail or something so this window can slide open slide closed uh, minifigure could be in there serving somebody outside of the vehicle which is nice to have that and if you can see there's some stuff in the back there which is nice uh, as well it's nice that you can see it from all the way around but as you already may have seen like other vehicles in the city line like this we do have some access here so we can open up this whole side it's tiled out at the top has hinges closes up you wouldn't really notice that that's uh, a possibility but for play and everything it's really really good to get more access in there so you could stud a minifigure down and whatever and you can see what we have in the back so we have a couple spots for ice cream cones we have maybe chocolate strawberry and then a couple bigger cones with multiple scoops back there or some specialty item these little clear bits down down there are kind of the um, where like a freezer where these popsicles can can go 
uh, like so. So that's nice. Those popsicle pieces are good. Of course, this character does have an ice cream cone, so you could swap this out, you know, the vanilla looking one or the white colored ice cream top with one of the other ones if you wanted. What I do really like for the detail is that this menu uh, on the side for the sticker reflects all of the stuff that's in there. So we have the two popsicles, we got the two kind of multi scoop ones, and then we have strawberry and chocolate. And uh, that's really, really a neat little kind of thing that it, all the bits back there reflect, you know, what's actually on the menu. So that's a good attention to detail there. Uh, and I, I really like that. Um, so it's really nice. The colors are great. It's another uh, really cool vehicle. And like I say, I think it would add to a, a city well. Minifigures are fine, but you, you do get them and it makes sense. Uh, good accessories. And it's just a, a solid build. Uh, we can see over here the extra pieces. And you do get an extra of all of the you know the translucent tiles used for lights uh and all of the ice cream you know tops there the smaller ones at least um of all the different colors and then just your one by one and stuff like that uh as i said well uh i got this set on sale for 20 percent off so i paid 16 dollars for this which is the same price that i paid for the holiday camper van and for the penguin slushy van um i think that's a good price for them uh you know this is 200 pieces i think um the other ones were slightly less than that 190 or 194 and uh yeah, $20 seems a little bit steep for me, um, but then again, when I compare this to something else, like a Speed Champions car, might have more pieces, might have, I don't know, it's just hard to compare that, but as far as City goes, um, at $20, I'd be less inclined to, I would have been less inclined to buy this, um, but for 16 I think this is a really good price, or 15 would be a great price for it, um, and uh, I think it's a great addition to a City, and there's lots of play, and it looks pretty great. I really, really like the color blocking of how these colors kind of move throughout the vehicle so that's very nice if i had one kind of complaint i wish we didn't see the back of those plates there i would have liked to see one of those like upside down tile pieces um, on the back and even if you can't do that here i don't know i think there's a way to maybe because it is double-sided you put a sticker on both sides would have liked for that to feel a little more finished off there but everything else is is pretty darn cool so i had a good time building it and a good time talking about it uh, and I'll happily add this to a city whenever I get one um, I also thought it was interesting that the whole front of this bit uh, is kind of a sub assembly that you stud on and it's only studded on with two studs on a studs on the side brick so that was kind of interesting uh, in there but is fine and yeah the overall look of this is is really really nice uses stickers but the not I don't know. I, I was fine with these stickers in this set. I feel like they add a lot, except for this one. I don't, you know, that one's weird to me, but um, very, very cool. Very fun. So uh, I like it. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like and hitting that thumbs up. And if you like the other videos on my channel, please consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date on all the Lego videos I'll be doing here in the future, including more Lego City, more vehicles, tons of other Lego sets of all different shapes and sizes and price points and piece counts. So hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming Lego videos. And if you want to support this channel and support my videos, the best way to do that is over at the SoBricks Patreon, which is patreon.com slash SoBricks. And over there, by joining for as little as $2 a month, $5 a month, $10 a month, you can get access to all my videos early. You can get access to some exclusive videos over there. Um, some Q&As, giveaways, uh, other stuff is in the works over there. So as that continues to grow, I'm going to be continually doing more things over there as well um, and every little bit helps so I really really appreciate it and thank you everybody who watches and comments and likes and subscribes please keep doing that uh, and um, with all of that said until next time thanks bye